Greetings students, I hope you're all well. This is Professor Daniel Staniforth here and this is a video for uh, my Humanities 115 Intro to Mythology classes and my Literature 115 Introduction to Literature um, class. Uh, I apologize for the interruption in classes this week. I had a minor um, health issue which is resolving, but as you can tell from my voice, um, still not quite right. So just as a precaution with the ongoing pandemic and a lot of anxiety about health, uh, I thought it best to stay away and um, do a series of videos um, to make up for this week's classes. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, first of all, I should start with the news this morning from FRCC, from the um, um, man in charge, Mr. Dorsey, that uh, the entire college is going to be moving to online um, instruction for the rest of the semester starting next week. In fact, this is the last week of regular class participation. Next week they are going to suspend uh, classes for a week to allow professors to prepare for um, moving to online. Then we're going to have the week uh, spring break and then commencing March 30th the semester will resume entirely online. So what I've decided to do uh, is use the tool that I'm very familiar with which is YouTube and I suspect that most of you are familiar with it as well and use it um, yourselves. So uh, what I'm going to be doing for both classes, for all three classes, um, is sending out um, maybe two or three videos uh, at a time. The reason being is I just set up a new account for uh, um, this reason. And when you start a new YouTube account, your videos are limited to 15 minutes. So um, it might be broken up into two videos per week, probably not more than that, and they, I think they extend your um, your allowed video time after a while anyway, so it'll probably uh, just be the one video um, after, a, after a couple of weeks. So what would be really helpful is if you haven't already, and I suspect most of you do have, um, get yourself a Google slash Gmail account um, where, whereby you can log in to YouTube and are able to comment. Um, I think uh, we can use the comment section in, under the YouTube videos um, to indicate indicate attendance. So uh, you can just identify yourself. So then maybe um, we'll do a couple of live uh, YouTube classes as well where you, we can chat and respond in real time. Perhaps we'll do that for the second, the lead up to the second paper, or the um, the uh, second mythology paper, um, and also the literature paper uh, that's coming up on poetry. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm uh, <laughs> a little bit uh, uh, drug addled at the moment, so my head's not exactly clear. Um, but anyway, perhaps in the next week or so, um, enable a, a YouTube account so that you can log in and, and make comments and identify yourselves. Of course, you don't have to use your real name. Um, and I will make the videos private and send you the links so that you're the only ones watching them, so that your comments will only be shared by each other and myself. Um, then we will use D2L for everything else uh, and that is just for the mythology class submitting the weekly tasks so up till now i've allowed you to um, submit those handwritten of course we're not going to be able to do that anymore it's probably not a good idea anyway since uh, um, papers being handed back and forth can can um, spread contagion uh, but anyway um, the tasks just type into a message on D2L and send to me each week and or anything that I uh, assign on top of that um, to do with the video lectures 
and then for my literature class, um, the same. Maybe we, I, during the lectures for the um, reading sections for uh, each week, I will assign some sort of response, which you can do either uh, via the uh, YouTube comments or uh, through D D2L itself. I would ask, if it's okay with you, um, that we all use D2L message from now on. Um, so far, I've been getting about two-thirds of my classes responding through D2L, and another third sending emails um, through a regular email system. And it's hard to compile everything for the gradebook. So uh, if we can, let's just be really vigilant in checking our D2L. That's the only way I can contact you anyway. I do not have your email addresses. Um, and then you can reply and also send tasks and papers uh, via that method as well. Uh, regarding the upcoming papers, there is one more for mythology and of course two more for my literature class. Uh, those will now be submitted online as an attachment. So um, write the papers as normal, format them yourselves, um, put them in a Word document uh, and attach them and send them to me via D2L when the time comes. Uh, I will grade them uh, as normal and of course I won't be able to give you your printed copy back uh, but I will send comments via D2L as per um, uh, my method of gra grading and stuff like that. So just to recap, we're going to do the video lectures via YouTube. Uh, I will go over, just like a regular class, uh, I will go over uh, some material. Um, we'll talk about the assigned readings uh, each week. Uh, if we can possibly do some um, collective uh, group sessions via the comment sections, we'll, we'll work that in. And then of course all written um, hand-in work will be done through D2L from, from now on. This is going to happen for all classes uh, starting on March 30th. I'm just starting a couple of days earlier because uh, of what happened to me this week. Uh, I'm going to be following up this video probably with a video next week, not um, on the syllabus because we're suspending college uh, completely next week to allow instructors a time to, to set up their online instruction. I will probably send you a video explaining a change in the, in the curriculum. So I'm going to adjust the curriculum, not much, just a little bit. We're going to lose next week's classes, so I have to rejig some things around. Uh, and then um, we'll do a video and I'll send that out next week to, to all the classes explaining those changes. And I'll also send um, a written version of the new syllabus, uh, at least the schedule part of it. Um, via D2L as well. So you'll get it both orally and uh, written. Um, so that's it for this particular update. This video will be followed by one or two videos from my mythology class. I'm going to do a video on Isis and Osiris uh, and a video on the Book of Toth, which we were to read for today or if you're in my Friday class for tomorrow. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to be sending probably one video to my lit class covering the poems that we were assigned uh, to read this week and going over some of the elements um, uh, of poetry in those um, selections. So uh, I will post all the links to the videos at once so you'll get the the link to this one uh, and then one or two following videos and they're not going to go over 15 minutes so it's not going to take you a lot of time. There may be a couple of, uh, from my mythology classes, there may be a couple of uh, extra small informational videos that I will attach um, links to that I'll ask you to watch, just informational videos. But all in all, it will probably not take as much time as a regular class. Um, and then also they, there may be some questions to answer. Um, so be sure to watch the videos. Remember that this is replacing class time. And uh, I need an indication of attendance to be able to um, um, count you present for those classes. So please watch the videos. Find time um, to maybe sit somewhere quiet. Put on some headphones. You can watch it on your, your cell phone or on your laptop or other devices. But do watch the videos. Um, 
and then if you're asked to respond, uh, um, please do so. Um, so there's just going to be a, a first series of videos coming in the next couple of hours just for this week's material. Then there'll be a week off. I will send a video explaining the, the updated curriculum for next week. Uh, and then on March 30th, we'll recontinue with the class in this format. Uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, concerns or anything like that, just contact me through D2L and I'll do my best to um, respond right away. Um, I think it's a good thing that FRCC is going to online. It seems to be that all in other institution, educational institutions, at least at the college level, are doing so. Um, I hope that you stay healthy and vigilant in your hygiene practices. Um, this is kind of a strange time we're going through and uh, an odd semester really. I don't think this has happened before. Um, but I think there, there could be good, some good things to come of it. Uh, and I'm looking forward to continuing uh, my studies with you, uh, albeit um, remotely. Um, I think that we can uh, make it a positive experience. So I'm looking forward to it and I'll uh, be back with another video shortly. Take care.